Hello students, in today's video we will discuss about the three marks important questions from the chapter limits and derivative and in that the first question is find the derivative of f of x equals to sin x by first principle given function is f of x is equal to sin x and we will consider f dash of x is equal to limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h limit f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h as h tends to 0 and as our function given function is sin x so f dash of x will become limit h tends to 0 sin of x plus h minus sin of x divided by h okay and we know that sin x here x plus h is considered as a and second term x as b angle so we know that the formula sin a minus sin b can be written as 2 times cos a plus b by 2 into sin a minus b divided by 2 by applying that formula this can be written as limit h tends to 0 it is 2 times cos x plus angle x plus y divided by 2 or a plus b divided by 2 here the first one angle is x plus h and second one is x add both divided by 2 and subtract both divided by 2 so x plus h minus plus x divided by 2 into sine of x plus h minus x divided by 2 whole divided by h which is equal to limit h tends to 0 2 time cos 2 time cos x plus x, x can be written 2 times x x plus x to x plus h divided by 2 into here plus x minus x get cancelled sine of h divided by 2 whole divided by h and in the denominator I will multiply and divide by 2 multiplying and dividing by 2 to the denominator doesn't affect the original term so this term become limit h tends to 0 here 2 2 get cancelled and cos of x plus h divided by 2 2 2 get cancelled so single term x will left plus h divided by 2 into sine of h divided by 2 whole divided by h by 2 it is in the form limit sin x by x sin x divided by x is equal to 1 as x tends to 0 the standard equation limit sin x by x is equal to 1 as x tends to 0 standard identity to remember so this term will become 1 this term will consider as 1 using this identity and the remaining first term only uh, remains that is limit h tends to 0 cos of x plus h divided by 2 applying limit to the term cos of x plus where h tends to 0 in the place of h will substitute 0 0 divided by 2 cos of x plus 0 by 2 is 0 which is equal to cos x using first principles f of x equal to sin x we got the answer f dash of x is cos x and the next one the same way they ask may they ask the question for the function cos x f of x is equal to cos x derivative of f of x equal to cos x using first principle and here also we will consider f dash of x as limit x f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h and h tends to 0 given function is f of x equal to cos x so f dash of x will become limit h tends to 0 in the place of f will replace by cos cos of x plus h minus cos of x divided by h now it is in the form cos a minus cos b or cos x minus cos y identity i think you remember that is minus 2 times sin a plus b by 2 into sin a minus b divided by 2 so limit h tends to 0 minus 2 times sin 
एंगल इज हियर x प्लस एच माइनस सॉरी प्लस एक्स डिवाइडेड बाय टू इन टू साइन एक्स प्लस एच माइनस एक्स डिवाइडेड बाय टू वन टाइम एड एंड वन टाइम सब्सट्रैक्ट बोथ द एंगल होल डिवाइडेड बाय एच हियर लिमिट एच टेंस टू जीरो दिस टर्म कैन बी रिटर्न माइनस टू टाइम साइन एक्स प्लस एक्स विल बिकम टू एक्स प्लस एच डिवाइडेड बाय टू इन टू साइन प्लस एक्स माइनस एक्स गेट कैंसल एच डिवाइडेड बाय टू विल रिमेन एंड इन द डिनोमिनेटर अगेन आई विल मल्टीप्लाइड एंड डिवाइड बाय टू टू द एच टू टू गेट कैंसल फ्रॉम न्यूमरेटर एंड डिनोमिनेटर लिमिट एज एच टेंस टू जीरो माइनस साइन ऑफ x plus h divided by 2 to get cancel for the first term and for the second term we'll write as it is into sin of h divided by 2 whole divided by h by 2 again the second term is in the form limit of sin x by x equal to 1 as x tends to 0 so second term will become 1 the first term limit h tends to 0 minus sin of x plus h divided by 2 into 1 applying the limit h tends to 0 for this term we'll get minus sin of x plus 0 divided by 2 into 1 and 0 by anything 0 minus sin x is the answer for the function f of x is equal to cos x the third question is f of x is equal to tan x find the derivative of f of x equal to tan x using first principle we'll find so f dash of x also here one more time we'll consider that is limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x whole divided by h and given function is tan x so limit h tends to 0 tan of x plus h minus tan of x divided by h now limit h tends to 0 i will take this one by denominator h one by h common and tan the function tan can be written in the form of sin by cos tan in the form of sin by cos will write x plus h as it is for the numerator as well as denominator minus again the second function is tan x it is in the form sin x by cos x is tan x we consider and by taking lcm cross multiplication we'll do cross multiplication here sin x plus h into cos x and cos x plus h into sin x in the denominator both the term will multiply and keep so sin of x plus h into cos x minus cos of x plus h into sin x whole divided by cos of x plus h into cos x both the denominator will multiply in the denominator and in the numerator cross multiplication of both the term will write and as we observe here in the numerator it is in the form i will write here we know that a equation a formula sin a into sin b minus cos a into cos b is equal to sin of a minus b the numerator we got in this form sin in the place of a x plus h and in the place of b x is there sin a into sin b so the cos b sin a into cos b minus cos a into sin b cos a into sin b is equal to sin of a minus b sin x plus h into cos x minus cos x plus h into sin x can be written sin of a minus b so the numerator can be written using this identity as s tends to 0 1 by h as it is the numerator can be written sin of a minus b sin of a is here x plus h and b is x minus x whole divided by both the term will keep as it is that is cos of x plus h into 
cos of x. Now applying the limit for numerator as well as denominator as as h tends to 0, 1 by 0 it will become 1 by 0 and here plus x minus x get cancelled sine of h that is sine 0 divided by cos of h tends to 0 means x plus 0 into cos of x as we know the value of sine 0 is 1 so 1 divided by cos x x plus 0 is cos x into cos x will get and 1 divided by cos x into cos x is cos square x 1 by cos is sec sec square x is the answer for the function f of x is equal to tan x we derived using first principle